Hey everybody, welcome back to TQM Travels. Once again, Lisa and I are hiking, exploring, and camping in different Georgia state parks. Today we are here in beautiful Black Rock Mountain State Park. So it's about 11.45, a little later than we get here. The sun's pretty high. And we're about to do a long trail, so we need to head out now. See you at the trailhead. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're here at our trailhead for the main trail that we're doing today. We're gonna be hiking this James Edmonds Trail. It's a 7.2 mile loop for the backcountry trail. We were actually planning on doing this tomorrow, but we're actually supposed to have a lot of rain and storms up here for the rest of the weekend. So we figured why not try to do our long trail today while the weather is beautiful. That way if there's any gaps in the storms tomorrow, we can hike the shorter trails. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get started and we'll see you guys out on the trail. Most difficult. Oh God. So we've hiked for about five minutes. It's uh, a little muddy in here and there, especially when we get close to the like running water like this here. Oh, we're good. Oh, geez. Yeah, look how, this is really pretty though. It's one thing that I'm going to point out real quick while I'm here, because I'm probably gonna start taking pictures here, is I'm giving myself a little bit of a challenge on this trail. I'm not planning on using my, my normal camera, my a7 III. I actually packed a, uh, a film camera. It's a Minolta X700. So any of the photos that I throw up on here are actually gonna be scans of the film photos that I'm taking. So hopefully they turn out. I mean, mine won't come through. Uh, I totally wish that we finished the trail. No! Out this secret stream. Here's the uh, most questionable bridge we've come across. It's not look safe at all. This water is really rushing. And there's two tires. <laughs> yeah, just two random tires. All right, Zalas, keep going, keep going. Oh my. Okay. She's out of the harness. Okay, okay. okay.
Let's play a game. We're gonna play Never Have I Ever. Do you know how to play? No, I don't remember. Okay, put up five fingers. Okay. And if I say something, and you've done it, you need to put your finger down. Okay. Okay. First person to lose all their fingers loses. I feel like this is gonna be rigged against me. <laughs> well, <laughs> games are supposed to be fun, so yeah, probably. Okay. Okay, never have I ever been to look off point. Didn't happen. <laughs> never have I ever slipped and fell all the way over on the trail. You're still good. <laughs> it's such a big day for you. <laughs> I know, I only slipped once and it didn't even really fall over. Never have I ever lost my GoPro. Wow, that's just mean. <laughs> and then usually you get a couple turns. Okay. Never have I ever completed the James Edmund Trail. That's right. Both of us got so tired. Halfway, th not even halfway through the trail. We didn't even make it to look off point, which is like the halfway point where you get the nice panoramic view uh, across the mountains, but. It was too hot. I think we went on the wrong part of the day. Also, they meant it when they said most difficult. Oh yeah. Most difficult. <clears throat> it was so brutal. Brutal. And then on the walk back, so the, the way that the trail is situated is you have to go downhill first, up to the lake, and then you go uphill to look off point. And we were just dying on that hill just because again, it was so hot. We didn't pack enough water with us, so we got pretty dehydrated on the way back. But then on the way back, that huge downhill then became an immediate uphill that we had to climb. So we were so tired by the time we got back to the car, it was really, really tough. As you saw in our game, I did lose my GoPro, unfortunately. So I don't know how much footage I have from this camera and from my Insta360. So hopefully I have enough to show some of the trail. We did pass a couple of hikers that were gonna go to one of the backpacking sites. So I did let them know. I was like, hey, if you see a GoPro, just send it over to the visitor center before you leave. So we'll check to see if they were able to find it or not. But we were out of supplies and just could not go back for it. And tomorrow we're supposed to have thunderstorms coming in. So we're not even gonna be doing a lot tomorrow. And truthfully, that means if no one found it by tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, it's probably gonna just get washed away. So we'll see if we're able to reclaim it by the end of the weekend, but I don't have high hopes for it, unfortunately. But we're here at our tent walk-in site and you can see it's not a very big space, but it is really nice and secluded. The nearest space is gonna be way back, uh, back there. So there's a ton of space here for these walk-in sites and it's really nice. We've got a nice little gravel tent pad here. As you can see, Lisa has once again gotten a fire going for us, and we're gonna be cooking some nachos for dinner tonight. And then after that, we're just gonna be resting up in the tent, and we'll see what we get into tomorrow, because it's, again, it's gonna be rainy and thunderstorms. We're probably gonna be spending most of our time in our tent reading some books and things. But so far, the park is really nice. There's actually a lot of nice drive-up overlooks you can look off to. That's actually where we did the intro for this video. And it's really pretty, especially today, because there's very few clouds right now, which was not to our benefit on the hike because we're pretty sure we both got sunburned a little bit. But tomorrow, we probably won't be able to get any of those panoramic vistas because of the thunderstorms rolling in. So we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. So here's our prepared nachos. We made these before coming here to camp. And something special about these jalapenos we have here is that we actually grew the jalapenos ourselves and then pickled them ourselves as well. So we've had them uh, a few times before and oh man, they are absolutely delicious. So we're going to cover this up in foil and we're going to put it on our nice little campfire here. See how our progress is coming. I really wrapped it down there, Lisa. Whoa. Look who really wants some nachos, right Zells? Tell them, are you sad you don't have nachos? <laughs> this fire is so big now. We were gonna try not to mix them to make it nice and pretty, but we decided in order to prevent the bottom from becoming charcoal, we're gonna mix it up. That'll still be delicious though, for sure. All right, so here's our final product. As you can see, we've dug in already a little bit. What do you think, Lisa? How's line. It? What's my line? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs>
the campfire smokiness really brings something special to it. It's really good. I enjoy them as well. I'll have a little bit as well here. We've got some salsa to dip in along with our nachos. Can I have my drink, please? Yep, just a second. Mm. All right, yeah, these are really good. Thanks for helping come up with this recipe, Lisa. You're welcome. I actually did do part of the cooking for this, though, so I'm not completely useless in the careful. kitchen. Good morning, everybody. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning right now, and I looked at the weather forecast. Apparently, it's not supposed to storm for another couple of hours, so I'm actually going to head back out to the trail we were on yesterday in order to try to find my GoPro. But as you can see, it is cloudy and overcast. So hopefully I can try to get a little bit of distance covered before the rains come in. All right, unfortunately I have not found the GoPro yet. And this is about the area where we turned around. Right about here, Lisa and I were really exhausted and we knew that we didn't have much water and food left. So I'm gonna keep my eyes out along the trail on the way back just in case I miss something. But hope is not all lost yet because there is still a chance that those hikers that we passed earlier that were camping up at Lookout Point, uh, maybe they found it. So here's to hoping so. All right, so I've taken a quick little detour here and I am now on the lake trail. So this is a, uh, a loop around Black Rock Lake, which we'll go to in just a second. I had this recorded on my GoPro, so just in case we don't find it, I wanted to show you this real quick. So like I said, this trail usually loops around the entire lake here, but as you can see, Due to the recent rains we've had, the trail is completely flooded right now. You can actually see just ahead there's a couple of the blue markers. Those are usually about head height for us and <laughs> they are quite low so the, the lake has really filled up a lot here you can see. Even over here there's a, a picnic area and this even is starting to get flooded so can't really do much here right now. So I have to say that this trail has been significantly easier today. It's nice being well rested. I had enough food and water this time. And it's also overcast and pretty cool. So all of those factors have made this hike a bit more enjoyable, minus the fact that I'm doing it solely to look for my GoPro. But I do think if we were hiking in these conditions instead of yesterday, at least I probably would have been able to finish the trail. Also, if we would have started a little bit earlier as well, that would have certainly helped also. So unfortunately, I still wasn't able to find my GoPro. Just a little further up the trail here was about where I had realized I had lost my GoPro. And this area was the last area where I had set my backpack down before I realized that the flap was open. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it. So hopefully those guys that we saw on the trail, maybe they found it or someone else on the trails had found it and we'll turn it in, but we'll see. So I'm gonna head back to the car now. So far, the weather is still held up for the most part but I'm gonna to try to get back to the tent before the rain starts pouring down. We're finally back here at our campsite. We got some delicious sausages on the stove for brunch. Lisa's still here in the tent. She's reading a book, but she'll be out in just a little bit. She had gotten some blisters from hiking yesterday and she didn't want to re-aggravate them this morning. So she didn't tag along with us while we were looking for the GoPro, but I'm sure we'll catch up with her in just a little bit. So for now, let's get these sausages cooked up and then We'll figure out what we're doing afterwards. All right, these are totally done. All right, this time I did bring a fork, unlike last time, so these are <laughs> these are a little easier to eat this time. These maple and brown sugar sausage links are so good. Look, everyone, Lisa is still alive. She's made it. <laughs> After a delicious breakfast, we're actually just checking out these overlooks that you can drive up to. Right now we're at the Blue Ridge Overlook and earlier we were at the Cowie Overlook. It was a uh, pretty cool, really, really pretty views of all the mountains and luckily the clouds are high enough that you can still see them. It was like 30 seconds away by road, so don't be that impressed by us. <laughs> That's right. So apparently the weather right now is saying that it's not forecasted to rain until four o'clock for maybe some scattered showers and then again at, at night. So we're gonna go try maybe one of the shorter trails to see how Lisa's blisters hold up. This trail that we're looking at is the ADA High Falls Trail, which is like a quarter of a mile. So let's go check out this waterfall trail and see what it looks like.
pretty short hike down, especially after yesterday. I mean, not looking forward to the stairs back up, but it's okay, there's benches. But the waterfall's really nice. I'm sure Chris has some great photos that we could have put here, here, and here. <laughs> Hopefully. But they're film photos, so if they don't turn out, then this part's gonna be very awkward. It's already pretty awkward, because I asked for it to be right here. <laughs> we'll see you at the top. This is so tiring. We've passed four of these benches, and we've sat at each one. Oh, we made it all the way to the top. It really didn't take that long, but I am so winded from climbing up that steep slope, and there are a lot of these stairs as well. But we're gonna head back to camp for now, so we'll catch up with you guys back there. <sighs> we're back here at our campsite now. We're gonna have some nice campfire bananas again. But just as we pulled into our campsite, we started hearing the thunder start rumbling. And in fact, maybe you can sort of see through the trees back here. It is very dark. Here's our flambe attempt. Once again, nothing. Here are our bananas on the campfire. Once again, we've made another improvement. This time we added some strawberries to it. So now it's strawberries, bananas, chocolate butterscotch chips, and some marshmallows. It's smelling good already. This one is so ooey gooey looking. This is strawberries. How are they, good? Yeah. Nice, give them a little taste. All right, so we're gonna do a little combo here, strawberry and banana. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, the strawberries. Yeah. 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 Do you think this is your best one yet? Everyone's my best one. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. That dessert was very tasty. Now Lisa and I are gonna do something that we haven't actually really done yet while camping. Relax. We're gonna relax in the tent for a few hours and just hang out. Normally we just try to fit in as much hiking and exploring as we can, but today with the weather, time for some relaxation. You might be able to hear this, but the rain is coming in. It's actually pretty relaxing, honestly. We had a nice little rest as the rain was coming in. It was pretty relaxing in the tent hearing the pitter patters of the rain. But now we have another campfire going here. This time I actually got this one started and put this one together all by myself. Lisa is actually still here in the tent. She's reading her book still. We are having Philly cheesesteaks tonight. So you can see here I have a tray with some ribeye steak and some onion in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the fire and start cooking. These are really close to being done. Just trying to get them nice and crispy, get some caramelization on the onions, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so these look really good now. So I'm going to put a little provolone cheese on top to let it melt a little bit, and then we'll be ready to serve them up. And here's the final product. It's certainly not my finest work as far as presentation goes, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. Mmm. This is very good. What do you think, Lisa? Do you like it? It's okay, not as good as the nachos. <laughs> yeah, Lisa liked the nachos way more, but I think these are on par. She's more of a nachos person, I'm more of a cheesesteak person. <laughs> we moved the campfire from the cooking part of the fire pit to the main part here, and we have a roaring campfire going. Okay, so while we're sitting here by the campfire, Lisa, with all of our camping trips so far, what's been your favorite park so far? Which is the one with the Gahoodi Trail. Uh, Fort Mountain. I felt so accomplished. <laughs> like a mountain lady. Yeah, we didn't really get that with this park, huh? Because we had to give up. <laughs> right, I felt like a failure. <laughs> like a mountain failure. <laughs> but it's more important to make wise decisions than to finish something. Yeah. We were out of water. Well, we were at a point where we would have been halfway through our water supplies and we weren't halfway through the hike. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely smarter to to have turned around there, I think. We were so exhausted and dehydrated by the time we got back. Because we also were still rationing our water. Yep. Knowing that we were so far and hadn't packed enough. So as I said, it was better that we turned around, but sometimes being right still feels terrible. Yeah. What about, uh, what's your favorite campsite though that we've been to? That first Pioneer one we went to. Cloudland Canyon? Yeah. That, that, was, that was a nice setup. It was 
really isolated, but it still had like the Pip V and a lot of good space and forest yeah. by it. Yeah, I thought it was really nice. I'm surprised you didn't say the Outer Banks campsite. I like the beach, but the sites were really close and I stepped on a couple birds. Yeah, and they like were- The dogs stepped on a couple birds. Yeah, and it was, they were, the campsites were pretty small. Like this campsite here is pretty small, but it's there was a there is a lot more space between these sites than there, like a lot more space. So I can get behind yeah, that. Yeah, that one, like the other side of the car, was be someone else's tent. Yep. So it's about 11 o'clock at night now, and we're finally starting to get those thunderstorms that we were expecting the entire day today. So current weather forecasts say it's supposed to be thundering for most of the night to about 6 or 7 in the morning when we're planning on waking up. So right now it's pretty relaxing, I think. But this poor puppy here is all done. He doesn't like the thunder. So she's a little scared. Her chest is cozy right now. Let's see if she starts shaking or anything. Yeah. You're a good girl, right, Zelda? Yeah, she is. Good morning. As you can see, we survived the storms last night. They weren't too long lasting, but the rain was on and off. And you said you kept waking up when the, when it would rain, right? So we're gonna laugh. Yeah. We, we imagined the rain to be a lot more relaxing with like soft pitter patters, but the rain was just pelting the tent and it was really, really loud and kept waking us up. There weren't too many uh, thunderstorms though. It was really just on and off rain, but that was loud enough. We survived, the tent survived as well. It's all in one piece. So we know that it'll be good for future storms as well. We're going to probably just get everything packed up this morning. And then as you can sort of see behind us, there's a pretty nice looking sunrise. Um, we're gonna go check out some of the overlooks that we could drive up to and just try to get a couple more pictures so I can finish off that roll of film that I have. So that's it for now. We're gonna check out these overlooks and we'll catch up with you guys before we head home one last time. So Chris just checked with the visitor's office and it's a go no on the GoPro. <laughs> yep, unlucky, but I'll realistic. Have to... So that's gonna be all for this episode. Thank you all so much for checking it out as we hiked and explored in Black Rock Mountain State Park. We had a lot of fun here, but now it's time to head home. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't so we can help the channel grow. And until next time guys, cheers.